In this video, we're going to have a look at how to determine the input values when the function and output values are given. Example 1. Determine the input values in the following flow diagram. Usually, the function is applied to the input values to determine the output values. But now, we are going to do this whole process backwards. We are given the output values and we are going to use this function backwards to determine the input values. The original function consisted of first multiplying by 3 and then subtracting 2. We are now going to do all of this backwards. This means we are going to start with our y value, our output value, and add 2 to this because that is the inverse operation of minus 2. Next, we're going to do the inverse operation of times by 3, which is divide by 3. Now, I'm going to use this new function and my output values to determine the input values. So first off, I will substitute the y value of 1 to get 3, and this 3 is divided by 3 to get my first input value of 1. Next, I'm going to substitute 4 and then add 2 to get 6. This 6 has to be divided by 3 and this will give me a value of 2 as the input. If I then substitute 7 and add 2, I will get 9, which I would need to divide by 3 and this will give me an input value of 3. And lastly, I'm going to take 10 and add 2 to get 12 and that 12 will be divided by 3 to get my final input value of 4. Example 2. Determine the input values in the following flow diagram. Once again we need to apply the given function backwards so that we can work from our output values to our input values. So we have to start with m, our output value, and divide by 5, and then subtract 2. The first output value is 5, which I am going to divide by 5 to get 1, and then subtract 2 to get my input value of minus 1. When I substitute 10 and divide that by 5, I will get 2, and then I have 2 minus 2, which will give me an input value of 0. Next, I'm going to take 15 and divide that by 5 to get a value of 3 and then subtract 2 to end with an input value of 1. And lastly, I'm going to take 20 and divide that by 5 to get a value of 4 and then subtract 2 to get my last input value of 2. Example 3. The equation y is equal to minus 2x plus 6 is given. If the output values are 10, 12 and 14, determine the input values. So here the same question is still asked, but now in a different way. The function is given as minus 2 times x plus 6 and the y values or the output values are given as 10, 12 and 14. To get the input values, this function needs to be done backwards. This means I'm going to start off with my output value or y value and subtract 6. And this value should then still be divided by minus 2. The first output value given was 10. So we start by taking 10 and subtracting 6 to get 4. And this 4 will then be divided by minus 2 to get an input value of minus 2. Next, I'm going to take the second output value of 12 and subtract 6 to get 6. And then divide the 6 by minus 2 to get the next input value of minus 3. Lastly, I'm going to take 14 and subtract 6 to get a value of 8. And then 8 should be divided by minus 2 to get the value of minus 4. Lastly, I can also list these input values or x values and they will be 
minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4.